Second player that I wanted to mention, again, I don't think he's underappreciated among Padres fans, but nationally, probably, and that's Jerickson Profar. I think at the beginning of the year, obviously, we definitely thought that the Padres should have gotten an upgrade. Definitely. You know, we were throwing out names, say Suzuki, Nicholas Castellanos. Uh, some were even saying Tommy Pham, right? Would he be better than Profar? That was being talked about, right? Like, maybe the Padres would have to settle for Tommy Pham. Jock Peterson, Eddie Rosario. There were a lot of names thrown out there, and I'll compare their numbers, their numbers, their war numbers, compared to Profar's this year, and uh, it's clear that Preller made the right choice to stick with Profar, and so I, we got to give him props for that, or he just, or you got to give him props, I guess, for not being, uh, not going out and feeling like he needed to go get a left fielder and overpay for say a Suzuki or someone like that. Uh, so I got to, you got to give, I guess, Preller in the front office props for that and props obviously for Profar for getting better. I know he worked with Tati senior and Tati's, uh, in the off season. Right. And yeah, I think I was wrong. A lot of people were wrong, uh, about Profar and him being a weak link, probably uh, in the outfield, in left field. He's gotten a lot better defensively. Obviously, he's made a ton of good throws. I think he's like, he has to be top five probably in outfield assist this year. Um, he's been tremendous. You look at that throw that he made against the Dodgers at home earlier this year. Uh, obviously, the throw he made on Sunday with the double off the wall, learning from mistakes, right? Learning from the mistake that he uh, had last week against Miami, where he didn't throw the ball in early, and then he got chewed out. He learned from that. Um, that's what I like about him. Always has a smile on his face, it seems like. Very passionate on the field. I look back to that Minnesota Twins game where uh, the umpire got in the way and he was pissed off because that should have been the game-tying hit that he had. Um, stuff like that, you know? Really fiery. I love that. Um, has a 115 OPS plus this year, 100 is league average, so he's above that. Third in F4 on the team, 2.7. Um, what if Profar wasn't healthy? I, you know, I can ask the same question uh, that I did about Hassan Kim. You know, it, what would it be? You know, before Soto, even before Soto and Profar was healthy, they were throwing Trace Thompson out there sometimes. You know, um, what would it be? Grisham, Mazara, Azokar. That, that's not ideal, or that wouldn't have been ideal, right? Uh, I thought Mazzara did pretty well uh, for a good amount of time when he was up, and I thought he should be starting every day at one point, if you remember me saying that. Uh, I did mean that. Um, now they have Soto, obviously, and he's been DFA'd. But, uh, yeah, if Profar wasn't healthy, this outfield was, would definitely not be as good. That's for sure. Uh, and I think he's underappreciated definitely nationally, I know. There's a lot of talented outfielders uh, nationally, right? Trout, Harper, I know he's been hurt, but Harper, he's coming back uh, probably next week, I would think. Uh, there, there's obviously a ton of guys. Aaron Judge is obviously getting a ton of play this year, and rightfully so. Hit his 47th home run of the year last night off Max Scherzer. Um, his Soto, obviously. There's a lot of talented outfielders, so I'm not saying that, oh, they should be talking about Profar every day, but I do think he's underappreciated nationally. Um, and, uh, man, looking at the comparisons, like Profar and guys that we were talking about that we thought might have been an upgrade or we thought going into this year would have been an upgrade compared to Profar. And just looking at war, because I know that's the simple all around, you know, encompassing stat. Profar's F4, 2.7 this year, like I said earlier. Nick Castellanos' F4 this year is negative 0.5, so Profar there. Profar edges Suzuki, say Suzuki. His war is 1.0. I know he's been hurt a little bit, but still. Best availability is, or best ability is availability, right? Uh, Tommy Pham, his war this year, F4. Uh, so that's Fangraph's war for anyone that doesn't know what F4 is. His F4 is 0.7, so Profar 2.7, two wins better. Jock Peterson was an all-star this year. Here's F-Ward. I was surprised to see this. It's only at one this year. 
Eddie Rosario, negative 1.2. I know he got something with his eye because he couldn't see, but what if the Padres went and got him and he couldn't see and this was what we'd be getting out of a left fielder this year, you know? I know Profar would have probably still been on the team as a bench player. Uh, and there were some probably making the argument. I, I, I probably, shoot, I probably made the argument that he's the better, his biggest value or the most value he brings to the Padres is him being a utility guy. I probably said that before this season. But he worked his butt off. He's gotten a lot better defensively. Uh, he was great in the leadoff spot. It felt like he was in lead the leadoff spot for months, probably because he was. Long at-bats, competitive at-bats. 